Hey folks, welcome back. It's another beautiful day out here in central Ontario, Canada. And if you guys have a look around, we got some fresh snow on the ground and the temperature is pretty warm. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that for today's project. Now I'm gonna head on inside my shop first and foremost so that I can show you exactly what we're up against. And as we make our way in here, if you guys have been here before, you've probably have seen this, probably seen the shop in this state. And I'm talking how uh, disorganized it is, but uh, just bear with me if you haven't seen it like this. This is a work in progress. I try to get it cleaned up as much as I can, but I'm working on a snow machine project and I've had the ATV in here for a fluid change and I've had the tractor in here doing some work on it. So uh, yeah, just forgive me. It's not exactly how I want it at the moment, but regardless, it gets the job done. Don't worry about that side though, because we're heading to this side of the shop because I need to use my miter saw as well as my table saw today. So I can keep putting the dust as you see on my coat. What's this all about? Well, it's today's project. What I'm doing is cutting some material to build shelves for storage at my sawmill. Now, my sawmill, you probably have seen before, way out in the bush, built that new structure for it. I wanna have a little bit more storage. Before you uh, criticize me for building a uh, sawmill shed that's too small, just hear me out. I wanna build storage for small things that are up off the main storage area and sort of get it off the ground. And you guys will see in a minute exactly what that's all about. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is I'm going to get some stuff cut. I've already cut a little bit there in the green uh, green milk crate. i got to rip some of this material down, cut this in half, and do a little bit of cutting on the miter saw. We'll get that uh, get that together, throw her up to the, uh, the sleigh there, hook her up to the snow machine, head on out to the bush and install it. So that's today's project. At least that's the idea I sort of have floating around in my head. We're going to try to put it down onto, uh, well, we're not putting it onto any paper. I guess put it into action. Life is good regardless of whether it works or not today because, as always, I got my favorite drink with me. So without further ado, I'm going to have a drink of coffee. I'm going to put on the headpiece here, headphones, uh, safety glasses, and get back at her. Glad you guys are all here, and let's go.
Well, first things first, we made it. Second thing is, I forgot to take my little platform down, my, uh, what do you call it, my uh, boardwalk. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm not too happy about this. If you ever wonder how much weight is up there on the roof, well, have a look at that. It, uh, it let go, obviously, on me overnight because I was out here yesterday. And it broke my, uh, well, it broke my 2 by 4 there. I uh, unfortunately forgot to put the uh, the supports halfway under there. I had no idea that this was going to let go last night, and, well, that broke. So, anyways, that's sort of life. We'll get it fixed up. Luckily, we have a, we have a source of lumber anyways. Let's get down to the job at hand, and that is some shelving. Let's head on in. All right, guys, here we are, and I have an idea, and this is the idea I cut all this wood for, and what it is is to put shelving up right along there. So you notice I have this expanse here, and I got a little bit of space up there. Now, when I come up to this area here, I put this beam at six feet in height so I can step under it. Well, what if I put the shelf just above there? Have it come out about 15 inches or so. There's all this dead space here. I don't have anything to put here um, lumber wise, but I do have some junk to put here. And the junk I'm talking about is stuff like this. You guys see all this knickknacks and whatnots over here. I kind of want to have a workspace here to work on things. And if I end up moving some of this junk up into storage up top there, well, that's a heck of a lot of storage. So that's what I'm up against here. That's the idea I got up in my head. I think we're going to put that into action. And judging by that boardwalk, which is still bugging me, we're going to have something to do after that. Anyways, one thing at a time. Here we go. All right, guys, I got a little surprise. See this old girl here? The old 18 volt DeWalt impact driver. Check this out. Dun -dun -dun -dun. All right, we got a new battery. And I know you guys are gonna say it's not an official DeWalt XRP or whatever it is battery. Well, that's just how it is. I got a battery, it's a bit of a DeWalt knockoff. Never use them, but I think we're gonna try them. Certainly gonna be better than the last one. So we got two of those jobbers in here. Sounds like they work so far, so that's the main thing. And so that means we are gonna be using screws. Get this stuff out of here. Okay. Here we go. Drill bits about ready for the trash.
sort of the day I'm having. All right, guys. Well, I don't even know what that got hooked on. Get back there. It, uh, it looks like we got everything done here. You guys can see what I'm going to be putting up there. I'll be putting up stuff like that uh, washer fluid. We built that good and strong here. If we look at overall dimensions, I am right from the edge here into the back beam, 15 inches. Uh, overall height here. Let me just break out my tape here, and I'll just go based on the uh, based on the length from the bottom of the rafter there. You're at about 15 inches as well, so it's kind of convenient. If we have a look down here, you guys will notice that these pieces turned out to be a little bit long. I'll come back and just trim those off. I just don't have a saw out here at the time. Same thing here, and down there I didn't need one. But overall, these are built very, very strong. I could actually, uh, I could actually hold my weight on this. Built it overly strong because you never know what you're going to put up there. If we have a look at the framing material up here, all this stuff is inch and three quarter by inch and three quarter. Uh, the plywood, or at least the uh, the boards for the shelf. I don't even know what this is. It's like an old tabletop or something. Couldn't even tell you, but I ended up finding it out in an old shed I got around here. So I threw her up there. Um, same thing over here. I ended up using an old shelf. And you guys can see it's up there. I just used what I had kicking around here. It doesn't really matter. We're just out at the sawmill shack. Just made sure it was level, square, plumb, whatever it needed to be. And uh, it turned out pretty good, I think. All right, guys. Well, just looking around here, I think we've definitely upped the functionality game for the newly built sawmill shed. I've got some other ideas floating around. I don't know when I'll be able to extract them out of my brain, but eventually it'll come out and then I'll put that into action. Whether this is the end of my storage woes here at the sawmill shed, well, time will tell. As I mentioned with some other ideas and looking upwards, uh, I think you guys can probably think what I'm thinking at this point. Anyways, that's for another day. I've definitely put a few hours in out here today and I'm feeling pretty good. The air is still fresh, but uh, hey, my coffee, which is over there, is still hot. Next time around, guys, be sure you come back because I got to get that boardwalk fixed. I also have some fresh logs, which are on the ground. You guys saw me winching up from way yonder in the bush. Be sure to come back for that. I will eventually get it back here, get it cut, and we'll be walking across that boardwalk right there and filling up that lumber shed. Anyways, guys, if you're brand new here, welcome. If you're not brand new, welcome back. And for everyone out there, take care, and I'll see you next time.